110. One flat. 102. Been playing around with wheel guns for a little bit. I, uh, I started that journey with 22s and well, guess what guys? In my pocket, still got it. Um, love that gun, LCR 22. Uh, LCR X 22 is also just a, a badass little carry piece, it is. But I have gone a little deeper, got my first center fire wheel gun. This is the Rock Island Armory, not really, AL9. Uh, this is actually an Alpha Proge. It's a checkmate gun. Uh, nine millimeter, six shot, double action. Uh, me not being a super into it wheel gun guy, what I see and feel in my hands is something like a K frame that is rough around the edges. So, um, Nine millimeter chambering, I think that is super cool right from the bat. Comes from the factory. Uh, cut for moon clips, which is how you load this thing, which makes it super easy to load. Um, I'll say this, everything on this gun is super, super tightly machined. So uh, on wheel guns, generally on most wheel guns, you have enough space between the cylinder and the barrel, the forcing cone, cylinder gap, right? There's enough space there where if you were to fire that with your thumb in this spot, bridging the gap like that, it would hurt you. It would cut you. Um, this is so tightly machined and also some stuff to do with the way that nine millimeter powder burns and such. Uh, it is so tightly machined that it does not even discolor my finger being right there. Um, there, there is so little blast that I can barely feel a puff of air. Pulling the hand, uh, trigger as hard as I can. It appears to be it not liking these reloads. Looks like there's one in there that's sitting just a little bit high. Yeah, right there. Bummer. Well, I don't have audio for this next session, so I'm just going to play the video in the background and explain what's going on. The cylinder that I just fired, uh, and for the cylinders after this, um, I had some issues, and it turns out that my reloads are extra garbage. So you can see my reloads in these moon clips going in, and you can see me turning the cylinder with a half-cocked hammer just to feel the resistance. Now, I was concerned about buildup on the face of the cylinder, um, between the face and the cylinder gap because that area is so tightly toleranced. I was worried that it would hang up and create a heavy trigger pull or bind the action. In reality, that never happened. Um, I did put 250 rounds for this gun without cleaning and over half of those are dirty reloads with coated bullets, not jacketed bullets. So uh, in that entire time, never felt any hang up from that. But 
I did notice when I was using moon clips that were loaded with my very old brass, very, well, lazily loaded reloads, uh, that I would get hangups. And here's what I've figured out. Some of my brass is so old and beat up that um, I believe I'm experiencing case length issues where any of the auto guns that I fire, they don't care. Never had an issue with them. But this being so tightly toleranced, well, it doesn't like them. Uh, there's such a small gap on the front and rear of the cylinder that um, there's no wiggle room for a slightly longer case. Now, um, all of the reloads here pass a case gauge just fine, um, but uh, they do not, well, I'll say one in 10 of them created an issue like this where there would be a, um, a, a friction spot where the brass was rubbing um, in between the cylinder and the rear of the frame. Revolver guys, I'm sure there's a fancy name for that. I don't know it. Anyway, uh, that friction was adding a lot of weight to the trigger and in some cases would stop the cylinder from rotating. In other cases, it would bind the action um, just enough where it would not let the trigger reset. So, not a good thing, uh, but I'm not gonna blame the gun on this. This one is totally my reloads, and with a healthy sample size of uh, quality reloads from, so 115 grain S and B, uh, as well as uh, a few cylinders of 147 grain plus P Federal HST, well, those cases um, the, that ammo performs flawlessly. And I can tell that my brass on some of those, on some of my reloads, is uh, it's getting worn out. It's also stretching and maybe this is some residual case lube, maybe there's something else going on there, but uh, I also found that my reloads sometimes had to be um, hammered out. Uh, they, were, they were stuck in there good. So, um, you know, maybe if you're, uh, if you're running crappy reloads, this is not the nine millimeter for you. Uh, but if you are running factory ammo, uh, this still has not had a single hiccup on that factory ammo. Guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for the audio difficulties. Keep training. Stay safe. It's a 248 bill drill.